This video shows how I can share a read-only version of VoiceThread with anyone. I can grab a URL and post that web link anywhere on the web, or I can grab the HTML embed code and embed a read-only version of a VoiceThread uh, in a Blackboard course or on a website. So to do that, notice I'm in a VoiceThread on a slide. And to get to the sharing options, I go to the top left, three horizontal lines, sometimes referred to as the hamburger button. So I click on the hamburger button and I select share. And notice I can also get to that same place if you are ever in the ed on the edit screen for a voice thread and click this share, it takes you to the same place. So once you're here, just go to the basic tab, the first tab and I can grab the link or the embed code. So let me do link first. So link, allow anyone the link to view, comment. Remember in FCPS, VoiceThread is integrated with Blackboard. In order to sign into a VoiceThread and have rights to comment to it, you have to go there from the link that the teacher posts in a Blackboard course. So a public VoiceThread can only be a view only copy. So when sharing this link, be sure you uncheck that comment box or else things won't work. So we'll do view. Here's the link. I can copy the link. Links copied to the clipboard. And to show that this works, I'm just going to open up another browser that I'm not signed into anything. Paste that link. And we are taken to that voice thread. And we saw this earlier with the Q is for Duck example. We kicked a, clicked a URL to a read-only copy of that one. So I'm going to go ahead and close this browser. Other option is the embed code. So remember, an embed code is a snippet of HTML that I can take to my website or to my Blackboard course and paste it, and then that will bring that voice thread into my course. So you just copy the embed code. Again, make sure it's view only and not comment. Copy the code. You would take the code to wherever you want to embed this voice thread, paste the code in, and then that voice thread will appear in that space. And to show you what that looks like back in our Blackboard class, I had done that with our exciting vacation activities. towards the bottom. So here's an example of sharing a read-only voice thread via URL. If I open that up in a new window, I am taken to that voice thread. Let me close. If I, I use the embed code and that voice thread is here embedded on the Blackboard class. And remember in Blackboard to paste an embed code when you're editing something, you use the, in the back Blackboard text editor, you just use that HTML button and paste. So this is the code. Actually, this is the code, not the paragraph tags. That's the code I copied from VoiceThread. I brought it here into Blackboard, pasted it. It looks like this yellow box until I hit submit and that voice thread has been embedded as part of this Blackboard item. 